Hey, hey, hey! I'm back with a new Godzilla battle for your viewing enjoyment. This person wanted me to play as Godzilla himself, so here we are. Your wish is my command. Now, as the titular monster of the game, Godzilla is easily the most fleshed out of all the fighters. His moveset is like double that of the others, which is crazy. And you see a ton of people online playing as him. For me, he's not really my go-to, but you can't go wrong picking him. As you can see, I'm up against another Godzilla player, who I'm targeting first because, well, my other option is that baby worm over there. Always go for the greater threat first, right? And I do need to be a bit careful here because my rival is playing as the Spiral Breath variant, which is just the same but with a stronger beam attack. Fortunately, they aren't really getting the timing right, and I'm able to punish. Yeah. Landing that breath doesn't mean much if I'm able to roar on time. You should only really be using your fully charged beam when your opponent is somehow vulnerable. You're going to be seeing the roar mechanic coming into play a lot. Godzilla especially is able to use it well because it combos well with a lot of his moves. And yep, a well-placed roar can really make the difference. Now I force DC Godzilla on the defensive. Just looking for the right timing here. I figured a fully charged beam could work here since he was nearing the end of his roar. And look at that, he's completely open to attack. That tail really is so effective at controlling space. Not looking good for my opponent. Kudos to DC Godzilla for finding a way to break through though. They even land a grab, very nice. And they follow up with a kick, but whoops, didn't continue the combo. Another mistake, it's generally not good to attack first in a roar off, because what happens? Your opponent tanks it and attacks you back. Now we're in an R2 exchange, with all the game's wonky physics. This here might have been a good opportunity for DC, but they're a little slow and I get a grab in. Oof. At this point I think I realized I may have been going a little too hard on this guy, so I pause here a bit and decide to let him go, turning my attention to Mothra. And DC appears on board with this idea, so all is well. Chato is playing a very classic sitter strategy, which I normally hate, but I mean, it is only Mothra larva, so I take no issue here. Nevertheless, I still need to play this carefully, because Chato is a skilled player, and shouldn't be underestimated even as Mothra larva. I make my approach slowly, just kind of studying my opponent. Mothra Silk has the perk of staggering me. Oh goodness, looks like DC has betrayed me. Time to punish that. Although looking back, I do think DC's attack was most likely an auto-aim slip-up, so maybe there was no reason for me to retaliate. So, uh, well, this is awkward. It even looks like DC is just trying to back off here, but I guess in my mind I was like, Traitor, you have broken the sanctity of our truce. Or something like that. Eh, <sighs> well, what can you do? I didn't know. Let's just see how they mount their defense, though. A fully charged breath. Not sure I would have done that. Yep, very punishable. We roar at each other, and bop, bop. And oh, it looks like I do try one last time to walk away, but nope, too late now. Here the fully charged breath was actually a good idea, since I was at an angle and wouldn't be pulled back all the way. An excellent counterattack opportunity for DC, if not for this mistake again where they roar and give me time to get out of the situation. Now is the right time for a roar on my part. And God, does that hurt. All from an auto-aim mistake. I'd definitely say I was a little too ruthless in this fight. And look where it's gotten me. I've got hardly anything left to fight Mothra with. Could be something to learn from. Remember to pick your battles. But now let's just see what I can work with in this situation. I'm at a disadvantage, but I'm not helpless. The issue will be that Mothra is very quick and won't give me many chances to hit her. But when I do hit, I hit harder. The dynamic between our ranged weapons is also quite interesting. Mine deals more damage, but hers instantly staggers on impact. And what I'll try to do is turn my back a lot to get myself pulled in. Thank you, wonky game physics. I roar just in time. Good, good. I fire back. Good hit. Maybe the key is to roar a lot, but even so, timing is everything. I'm hit twice in a row. And it does so little damage, it's not even worth r 2 against. So I pretty much just have to take it. I try to R2 only when I'm actually able to hit with it, but unfortunately it pushes my enemy away, which is where she likes to be. I try my luck with a fully charged beam, and this basically shows why it's not a good option against someone who's ready for it. I charge back in, trying to get close again. Whee! He's glancing hits with my tail or something, but they aren't good enough on their own. Great, now I'm stuck facing sideways like an idiot. For that I take a hit. And another one. Maybe it gives me a window to advance, since she's just expended some energy. But again, I have to be careful. Cheto is tricky. Very bad time to R2. I'm totally open to attack now. At least it's only Silk, and I also get a chance to strike back. Beautiful spacing here, though. And good 
God, you just cannot roar on time after a turn. Okay, time for more aggression. I need that larva to stagger. Chato cranking up the aggression too. Ah, too fast. I get some tail hits in, but still not enough. This, however, might be a turning point. That forces an R2 out of Mothra and gets her into melee range. No choice but to R2 again. This is very good for me. Of course I mess it up and push Mothra to a safe distance again. Oops. I desperately need to change it back to close quarters or Mothra can just wear me down. Can I do it? Aha! There it is. Wonky physics, I tell you. She is at my mercy now when I go for a nice throw. No time to run, I stay right on that bug. I turn on the dime and ooh, just in time. This is very dangerous business. Very dangerous indeed. Amazingly, Cheto willingly walks right back into range, and I give it all I've got. My turn in R2 combo is just too fast. And oh boy, R2 contest. My health is so low, but I eke out one more R2. Folks, it's now or never. If Mothra gets one more hit, I'm done. I did it. The comeback hour is now. Holy crap, you guys. My heart was racing after this match. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect to win this one. J2 always provides a great challenge. F in the chat for DC. Hopefully you won't hold this one against me. GG, y'all.